Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to explain to you how to get the most out of the Treasure Vault Weekends. Whether you're a new player or an experienced one, these Gnome Vault Weekends are by far your best chance to get absolutely stunning rewards from the game. It really is worth doing. Keep watching to find out how to go about it the best way. A Treasure Vault Weekend is essentially three different stages. First stage is where you're going to normally do lower level explores to obtain more verses and more vault keys. Stage two is where you're going to create a Noma Palooza, which is going to give you an absolute bunch of vault keys. And stage three is where you're going to turn in those vault keys and turn them into rewards. But each of those things needs to be done in a specific kind of way to get the most out of it. So let's go over those things one at a time. Stage one is all about obtaining vault keys and verses. When you play a game, a gnome will randomly come crashing into your game, and when you win that game, if they had a verse, if it was a first gnome, you will then obtain that. Have a set of one, two, three, and four, and you will be able to craft a gnome palooza in the Soul Forge. Freddy Fret Fiddler drops verse one, you can see him there in the background. Cindy Savage Lips drops verse two. Hoagie Humbucker drops verse three. And Baz Bonebeater drops verse 4. So, the first stage, you want to pick on Bright Forest, Cine Mirage, and Wild Plains, typically. These contain some of the lowest level troops in the game, and as such, a nice, easy win. What you're going to want to do is pick your favourite fast team. There are Iron Hawk teams out there, people will know about them if you have that, so I'm not going to go over those now. But this is my favourite kind of team for doing things really quickly. Leprechaun starts with full mana. Mirage Queen is available from the Sunken Fleet in the Underworld and gives all elemental allies a 50% start. Rowan is an elemental. You just cast Leprechaun, get Rowan charged, cast Rowan, you win the game. It is that simple. And you get hero XP from this as well, which is really, really nice. So let's um, just do a quick set of these to I show you what I mean. You can take these if you want, there's no real need. Let's cast Leprechaun, cast Roban. Nice easy wins. Just go through this quick set. You can do the Ironhawk teams. The issue I have with the Ironhawk teams is they typically do 20 damage if the, you're using the uh, build with greed and things like that and when you get to the mini boss on these they will sometimes have like a couple more health which just suddenly stops you in your tracks and slows you down and then you have to look for an extra skull hit or something like that this is a very consistent team nothing slows it down and you can go in different kingdoms if you want to as well with this team you're not actually limited to the three i just mentioned as well as that in the double greed double ironhawk team you can use sister superior as well but with that there's no hero so you gain no hero xp this team i'm using here is not limited by that factor let's do the mini boss see what they've got yeah this mini boss doesn't have the extra health you see but every now and again it will do and almost definitely when you get to the mythic boss as well, like Vanalis, he might have an extra 10 health, he might have 30 altogether, which is really going to slow you down. Right, so that's the teams. You use a nice quick team, fly through them. We didn't get any gnomes crashing into the games that time, but you will. And when you do, collect versus 1, 2, 3 and 4. Check back in your inventory now and again. You can do this by bringing up the menu, going to your hero and across to inventory push up to go to the bottom straight away and this is how many verses one two three and four you have providing you have one of each you'll be able to create a noma palooza and on to stage two now you've spent the last few hours or even more just away from civilization everyone wondering where the hell you are and what you've been up to but the good news is you've got loads of verses now you can see how many you've got by going to the soul forge Going across to other, scroll down to where it says Noma Palooza, and this will tell you how many Noma Palooza you are able to craft. Here I can craft six. Now, one, if you craft one at a time, it says times one there, which means I will craft one 
that will start a 15 minute timer. And this timer is real time. It cannot be paused. If you think you're pausing the game by pressing the PlayStation button or the pause button or whatever, you are not. 15 minutes is still gonna run. So when you do this, you wanna make sure you can't be disturbed. Call your maid, call your butler, call your sheepdog, anybody to answer the door and get the phone as long as it's not you. Now, you can craft more than one Nomapalooza at a time as well. If I crafted two, then that would obviously equal 30 minutes of real time and onwards. So four would be a full hour, but you want to keep your speed up. You'll want to just cane through these as quickly as, as you can. The more you do, the more rewards you get. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's craft one. It says skip and continue and you want to do that and you'll see that timer has already started. So we jump straight into Bright Forest, crack on, hit the continue button, nice and sharpish like. Now what will happen is all these four troops will get replaced with gnomes and you're just going to go for it with your nice quick team. In this case we cast Leprechaun, cast Rowan. Bash that skip button, you'll be pressing the uh, X button or whatever, whatever it is on your favoured console, PC, tablet, phone or whatever in an effort to get the game speeding along nice and fast. I'll just do a few of these. I'm not going to do the whole 15 minutes. With this Rowan team, if you see a four match on blue or green, it is better to collect that right away because you then save the animation time of Leprechaun. If, you're, if you really want to save like split seconds here and there, it does make a difference, but you do miss out on the gold you get from Leprechaun literally every single time. 20 gold every single time you cast Leprechaun. That really does add up on this sort of thing. Don't go getting four matches like at the top there. You're wasting the time. You actually get far more rewards by ignoring them. Only gives you four extra gold or five if it was a set of five um, a gem match. And this is where sometimes you can actually save time. Some of those Iron Hawk teams sometimes they will stall ever so slightly. That's what I mean about getting the four match nice and quick. There was a particular gnome that comes in sometimes, and this is what I was saying about uh, why the Ironhawk teams slow down sometimes. I think it was a soul gnome or glory gnome. They had one extra life, which is like 21. And they came in quite often, and that does actually slow the team. That one at the bottom there, look, 21. So with those Iron Hawk teams that typically deal 20 damage, that would actually stop on that and they have one gnome left at the bottom on one life, which is really irritating, which is why I really love this Rowan team overall. Right, I'll just do a couple more of these and I'll um, go back to the actual video because this is what you do. You just quickly cane and cane and cane as fast as you can, killing troops, wiping out the enemy nice and fast. So my 15 minute Nomapalooza has just finished and what you can do now if you like is go to your mail. You will see you've got a load of messages here. Just claim all of these, you'll gain extra vault keys. Then if you like you can pop back to your game section, go over to Gnome Vault and press the square button or the equivalent. I only had one before. I've now got 30 so that is actually a really good haul for 15 minutes. Gosh, I gained 29 in that 15 minute run. That is really good. Stage 3 and one of the most exciting times of all, especially if you're a newer player. The opening of your Gnome Vault keys. Now, as tempting as it may be, do not open these during the event. And the reason is quite simple. Basically, your time is much better spent doing those low-level explores, obtaining verses, creating Gnome Paloozas, and using those Gnome Paloozas during the actual event. This is going to give you the most Vault Keys and you can open these whenever you like. So do it after the event. The rewards are not going to change and you will get better and more rewards by doing this because you simply gain more Vault Keys. Do not spend your time in the event opening the Vault Keys. You are going to lose out on Vault Keys and therefore lose out on rewards. Now when it comes to opening your Vault Keys, make sure you do it on the hardest difficulty you are able to do. The reason is the percentage goes up of how much rewards you get, so it is really worth doing. So basically just pick the same team you would normally do for a Explore Level 12, your best, most powerful team to make sure you get the most rewards out of this event. So there it is, there's my 
gnome vault guide if you found it useful or helpful be really cool if you hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help but most of all thanks for watching and i'll catch you again next time bye for now